In these problems, we're doing a little bit of review of our subtraction skills. And usually, you, you do these problems on a calculator, and that's a fine way to do them. But it's good to remember how to actually do the process by hand, just in case you get stranded on a desert island without a calculator someday. And you want to figure out how many coconuts you'll have left if you give away so many. So let's go ahead and do this. You'll remember, I'm sure, that we set this up by stacking them on top of each other with the number that you're subtracting on the bottom and the number you're subtracting from on the top. So we'll write it like this, 7,657 minus 171. As long as I have these lined up correctly so that the ones, the tens, the, the hundreds are in the same place, we're good to go. So we'll just start subtracting with the ones column. 7 minus 1 is 6. When we get to the tens column, we've got 5 minus 7, and we can't really do that because that becomes a negative number. When that happens, we need to borrow 10 from the next one over. So we do that. We take that 6 and turn it into a 5, and then we take that 1 from the, from the 6 and turn it into the 10 over here. So this becomes 15, and now we have 15 minus 7, which we can do, and that's 8. And then over here we have 5 minus 1, that's 4, and the 7 is minus, well, there's nothing there, so it's, we just bring the 7 down, and we have 7,486. It's pretty much the same way with money. The only thing you have to pay attention to is that when you set up the problem, you line it up so that the decimal points are in the same spot. They've already done that for us, so we're just going to go ahead and subtract. 5 minus 2 is 3. And here we have 0 minus 9. Well, we're going to definitely need to borrow for that. So we'll turn this one into a 4 and take the 1 over here to turn that into a 10. Now we have 10 minus 9 is 1. And 4 minus 0 is just 4. And so we have $4.13. If you want to check to see that that is actually correct, you could take 413 and add 92 back to it, and you'd get up to 505. Go ahead and try it. And then we've got one more here, and this is a word problem. It says, Greg paid $10 for a $4.47 book. Choose the amount he got back by subtracting $4.47 from $10. So we'll do that, $10. And then I just have to make sure the decimal points are lined up. So $4.47, and that's subtraction. So that's set up correctly. And now, right away, I notice I'm going to have trouble and need to borrow because I've got zeros. And it's a little more complicated because I've got more than one zero in a row. If I, if I try to borrow from this zero, well, this zero is going to need to borrow from here. And so what I'm going to start with is this whole 10 is going to become a 9. And I can do that because i got nothing under the 1 here, so I can treat that just as a 10. That becomes a 9. Now I've got an extra 1 to stick over here, so that one becomes a 10. But I still needed to borrow here, so that one becomes a 9 again, and this one's a 10. Now we're ready to do our subtraction. 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 4 is 5. I've got my decimal point. 9 minus 4 is 5. And that's it. Let's, let's double check this one to make sure we got it right, because that was kind of complicated with all that borrowing. So I take my 553 and I add the 447 back to it. And we should come up with $10. Let's see. 3 plus 7 is 10. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 4 is 10, and 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 4 is 10, and there we go, $10 again. So 553 is the correct answer. So that's a little bit of review with sub uh, subtraction.